So in this video, I will talk about the new exotic holster called Imperial Dynasty. I will go through how it works, how you can farm it, and what's the best use for it. If that sounds interesting, then let's get started. But before we actually check the holster, let's just quickly go through how you guys can farm this one and yeah, where it drops. So the exotic is tied to the new and returning faction cleaners. So the only way to actually get this one right now is to do the cleaners mission. So there are two of those. One of them are called Pathway Park, which is this one. And the other mission is called Stranded Tanker. So only in those two missions is where you can get it as far as I know and it's only bosses as well that can drop it. So with that out of the way let's actually take a look at the exotic holster. So the talent is called Dragon's Glare. While in combat applies burn to the enemy closest to you within 20 meters. Cooldown is 40 seconds. If we take a look here for PvP stats it's also the same 40 seconds. And taking a look at this one I can definitely see some usage with this in CC builds. Like maybe you could combine this with a backpack talent like Creeping Death. I don't think I have it on me though, but basically what Creeping Death does, if you get a status effect on a target, anything in 5 meter radius would get the status effect on them as well. But I think in terms of PV, I don't see this one being that useful at all. But when we talk about PvP though, I think that's when the talent is actually pretty good. Because cooldown is 40 seconds, which is quite long. But in terms of PvP though, you can definitely play around it. And if you can start a fight with them burning, which means when they burn... I actually have a flame grenade here. You can't aid this, right? I'm burning and then I have to hip fire. So that's a pretty huge advantage to get in the start of the fight. So in terms of specialization, we just instantly gonna go for firewall here. Because Firewall do have some pretty good fire stuff, which you can hear on the name. But specifically this talent right here, which adds 20 burn duration. So we can get them to burn even longer. So we got that equipped. Let's go and see if we can find any NPCs. I'm playing on Heroic now, so using the status effect build for this. It's probably not the best idea to showcase it. But let's see if we can check it out anyway. I will show some little gameplay I had from Dark Zone when I tried it for like 2 minutes with this... Uh, status effect build which is pv oriented and if you're interested in the status effect build i did upload a video a few hours before this video went live so yeah but i think in terms of pv it's it's not gonna be that good unless you do some creeping diff stuff so i would definitely recommend to use this for pvp but maybe you can make some crazy builds though but yeah if we check the the range here this is less than 20 meters so if we shoot that guy and bam, he gets on fire. Not that much damage at all. I don't have too much status effect here. And I mean, keep in mind, this is on heroic. So yeah. I have no... I little have no damage here. I can CC them for super long time though. And now I get some fire again. But yeah, my build here is... Not a solo build. Oh, but we can EMP that. Oh, nice drone, dude. I can EMP that. I can status effect them. Again. Definitely not optimal solo build here. And they get on burn again. They're <laughs> actually dying though. <laughs> this is so slow. But yeah, I mean, that's basically how it works. The closest target every 40 seconds. We'll get on fire. Nice cover, by the way. But he got on fire though. <laughs> Save me once again. You see, see him. I love this firefly drone. Takes on fire, buddy. But yeah, I mean, that's basically how this works. And we got on fire again. It feels like it happens more often than... Than 40 seconds though. Guess we have to CC him here. Damn, CC is life, man. I really do love this CC build. Do I actually want to clear this one? Okay, I guess we can just clear this one. But I will show some PvP footage later, as I said. And I think that's where this one is going to shine. 
just it's not that good for for pv though but honestly it's feeling pretty decent right now not gonna lie like if they push you they just get cc'd and then you combine it with the current cc i have though i don't have any damage usually on my build i do hit for six million right now so but then then again like he got cc'd again right surprised that i actually can do this with this build because there's no damage but we do have cc for some reason he didn't get cc'd can use the mp just to stagger him a little bit and let him come closer actually we're gonna push him huh you think i'm scared you think i'm scared no i'm not scared dude i mean that's pretty pretty handy right there right I mean, I, I kind of like this exotic. But definitely for PvP. But then again, this is super cheesy for PvP though. But that's definitely where you're going to get the best use. So maybe actually if you play Dark Zone, you could use this. Because if you are in... Because when you get in combat, it would proc, right? That was a golem mask I need, but it wasn't... didn't have skill haste. But yeah, if you use this in Dark Zone, it could be useful if somebody toggle rogues on you. Because then, as soon as they shoot one bullet, they will get on fire. And they have the hip fire, so... So, yeah. I just want to test this. <laughs> like, he's gonna get on fire soon. Now he's getting on fire. Oh, that one did some more damage. <laughs> you are Maybe get some footage with that. Oh... Oh, he could shoot me. It don't, didn't do that much damage, though. From the holster. I thought it would do a lot. No, I died. We need, like, some more status effects, I guess. It's like, yeah, this is mainly skill -aced. But I think that's gonna be it for this video. It became way longer than I thought, though. But I guess you get to see the one open world activity here with a really low damage build, like the CC build. So I guess in that case, it works it worked pretty good though but with my normal damage build it would feel quite unnecessary but but anyway hope you guys found this video useful and if you are interested in more division 2 videos make sure to hit that subscribe button see you in the next one